In this video, I'm going to demonstrate how to use Affinity Photo to create a parchment effect. I've started with a new document, 8.5 by 11. If it comes up in landscape mode, you can switch it over to portrait mode by clicking on this button. I'm going to click Create. And so there's my blank piece of paper. Now, I've got two files. The first one I'm going to use is a uh, scan I did of some yellow parchment paper I bought at an office supply store. I have links to all of the files you need for this project in the description for the video. So this I opened it up, uh, it's a JPEG and it opened in a new window. I'm going to copy this and paste it over into my original document using Control C over here and then go over to this document and control V. You can see that it isn't quite big enough to fill up the whole piece of paper. So I'm going to click on the move tool and that way I can resize this so that it um, just fills the entire piece of paper. Now um, I'm not particularly fond of this color so I'm going to adjust the color by inserting an HSL layer. You can see that inserted up here. And I'm going to change the hue first of all. And for this one I'm going to change it to a little bit sort of a brown color. I'm going to decrease the uh, saturation a little bit and bring the luminosity down. So now it's a darker, richer brown color. Okay. Now the next thing I'm going to do is add in a natural texture to this. This looks sort of artificial, so I'm going to go in and open up a picture that I took. I actually took this while I was traveling in Nova Scotia of a rock. And I'm going to copy that in and paste it over here. And that one is pretty big. Um, I'm going to shrink it down and then I'm going to rotate this and oops, I'm going to hold down the shift key so that it, um, I guess it doesn't really matter for this pattern, but I'm going to sh uh, rotate it until it um, is aligned perpendicular or at 90 degrees to what it started. Okay, then I'm going to expand it. I'm actually going to bring it so that this little corner does not show up. I think that'd be too much contrast. Okay, like that. I think that'll make a good uh, texture for the um, for this paper. Now I need to choose a, a layer um, effect here, and I think a good one for this one is going to be um, overlay. So I choose the overlay, and that's what it looks like so far. I'm going to center that a little bit. And I'm going to bring the um, opacity all the way down to zero, and then gradually bring it back up until I see a little bit of texture coming through. Okay, so that's my parchment paper. Now. I could also add on top of this another adjustment for the um, brightness and contrast and um, bring this up a little bit. Now if I'm using it, if I want it to look, I can decrease the brightness if I want a real dark parchment or if I'm actually going to use it to put some text on top of here, you probably want to have it pretty light. So I might bring this up uh, to a pretty light color. Now what I probably will do is I'll use a dark color around the edges and then I'll use a light color in the middle and I'll show how to do that in a later video. Okay, once I get something I like, I'm going to do a file and export it as a JPEG. And that's it. Thanks for watching.